classic muscle cars loves convertibles and we're ready to take a ride stay tuned and watch our next video don't forget to share and like Welcome to U.S. Classic Muscle Cars. Uh, today I'm here with Mike. Hello, Mike. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about this event? Yes, this is our first inaugural event uh, for the Oswego Police Department's uh, Explorer Post. So the idea here is a fundraiser for the Explorer's Post so they can uh, buy equipment and uniforms and things like that. Uh, and are you planning to do this every year? From we are. Time? We are. This was the first year and we didn't know how it would turn out. Um, turns out that it worked out pretty well. A lot has to do with the weather. So um, we are planning one next year. It will be in the fall, probably maybe a little earlier, September-ish. Um, I think next year we will pick a, another cause uh, to donate back to, possibly veterans organizations or something like that. And where can we follow you so we can know when you might post this? Um, everything is put on our uh, Oswego Police Department Facebook page is where it was primarily advertised. Um, we also do like car show finder. Uh, that was kind of a last minute thing we did, but um, next year we'll probably advertise a little earlier. So, okay. all right. Well, thank you so much. Uh, if anything, you can let us know. We can also post it on our website. That would be amazing. Um, put it on YouTube. Yep. Um, thank We're you happy so to much. have you out, and uh, thanks for coming. And hope to see you next year. All right. Thank, thank you. you so much. Alrighty. Hold on. Welcome to US Classic Muscle Cars. My name is Marlene, and today I'm here with Bill. Hi, Bill. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Now, can you tell me a little bit about the car that you brought here today? Uh, what I have is a replica of a 1932 Ford five-window coupe uh, done up in the style of American Graffiti. Uh, the movie had a profound effect on me when I was a young man and uh, decided one day I'd build a car and today here we are. So you built this yourself? I did build it myself, yes. With the, with the help of several friends, believe you me. Okay. Uh, tell me a little bit about the engine of the car. Uh, the engine is a small block 350. Uh, it's got uh, four two barrel carburetors on it, similar to what was on the original movie car. Uh, the movie car had a Manifray intake set up on it, mine's an Offenhauser. Uh, the overall look is, is, is very similar to the movie car. It's just, uh, I've, I've done some upgrades to it to make it a little bit uh, more friendly to drive. And... Tell me about the firewall. The firewall is a stainless insert piece on it, uh, similar again to what was on the movie car. Uh, the movie car didn't wasn't polished, mine is, uh, just to give a little bit more bling. So, Tell me about the exhaust. Uh, the exhaust is the open uh, style header, well they're not headers, right? well they are headers, but they're, they're, I do have mufflers stuck up in there as well too, but the movie car had similar setup on it with mufflers running out the back half of it. I chose to dump mine off on the side over here. Tell me about the color of the car. Uh, it is a, a similar, it's canary yellow, uh, the, the, the movie car was uh, yellow as well too. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty similar to the same shade of, of the movie car. Tell me about the wheels. The wheels are a, a chrome reverse, uh, universal type style. Uh, that's what was real popular back in the 1960s and 70s. The movie was set in 1962 and a lot of the cars in the movie had chrome reverse wheels on them. Uh, and like I said, I just tried to stay as true to the movie car as possible. And I can see it really inspired you. It did. It did. I was only 11 years old when the movie came out and I saw it for the first time. It made a big, big yeah. difference in my life. I mean, it, I mean it, it, it really kept me involved in cars for a lot of years. And I, I knew someday that, I, that I'd, I would have to do it. I, I, I would have to build it. So. Nice. Tell me about the interior of the car. The interior is, is uh, pretty special on it. Uh, the, the chrome pieces or the, the stainless pieces on the doors are very hard to find. They're off of a 56 Crown Vic, which they don't reproduce anymore. So you kind of got to scour the internet or junkyards and swap meets to, to try to find them. I ended up with three sets of them and, and uh, took the best sets uh, for the car itself. So Nice. And I hear you got the car signed as well? I did. The car was signed by the actor that actually drove the car in the movie, Paul Lamatt. Uh, he played Milner, uh, hence the license plate on the vehicle as well. says Milner's as well. I actually took the car down to Kentucky a couple years ago, trailered it down there, and. Uh, I spent some time with him and he sat in the car and, and hung out with us for, for quite some time. Very special moment in my life, probably the, the pinnacle of my ownership for the car actually. So. How much is the car worth? Who knows? It's whatever anybody's want, willing to pay for it, to tell you the truth. Uh, you know, I've, I, I've been offered upward you know, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 for it. I'm just uh, not prepared to sell it at this point. So. Maybe later on in the future, do you plan on placing it on the family? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> How is the car to drive? The car is a joy to drive. It actually has some upgrades on it that the original movie car did not have. I've got coilover shocks and the rear suspension on it. It does have an automatic transmission on it as well too, so my wife can drive it. 
Uh, the original car had a, had a four-speed in it. Um, again, it's it was it's it's the first car that I actually built in over 20 some years. Uh, it, it was uh, it was a joy. I mean, I, I made a lot of great friends over the years in the in the building of it. Uh, had some great help from some great friends out there: Kevin Krause, uh, Henry Herrera, Mike Allison. Uh, just uh, like I said, it was an experience for me that I'll that I'll never forget. So. How many miles have, the, have you put in the car? It's got over 2,000, about 2,500, 2,600 miles on it right now. And I drive it a lot to local shows out here. If I'm going to go anywhere far, I will typically uh, put it on the trailer because, I mean, it does only have a three-speed transmission and it's horrible on gas. I've got four carburetors i got to feed on a regular basis. And uh, yeah, taking it out on the highway is probably not the... That's it'll do it. It's just, uh, I will, I'll, I'll have to stop an awful lot for, uh, for fuel, so. How long did it take you to build the car? Uh, I started, I ordered a body and chassis for the thing in 2011. I started in 2012. Um, the car showed up on the, you know, body on the, on the frame and uh, we just started going at it. I started ordering parts for it and, and the parts that I'd collected over the years. Uh, put the motor and trans in and uh, overall probably, I had it on the road in about two and a half years and totally finished in about four and a half, so. That's nice. Yeah. Are you done with They're them? never done. You're always improving them. I mean, there's, there's, there's certain things that I'll probably do. I, I may change the wheels out to the original set of uh, uh, chrome reverse on it. And uh, you know, maybe change the headers out and a couple other things to try to make it a little bit more movie correct. But for right now, I'm just having a blast drive. So. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank that you. That was a pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, share and like our videos. Please, please, please subscribe. We appreciate it.